If you've got a video or audio recording on your phone where maybe there's too much background noise or lots of wind and you need to clean it up, you now don't need to go over to your desktop and use professional grade tools. There's now some amazing free AI apps that you can use that will clean this up for you. And this is awesome because until recently, it was only paid apps that had this functionality that did a decent job. So I've got two app options for you that I'm gonna run through. One of them is iPhone only, the other is iPhone and Android, and I'm gonna show you how to use them. So the first one, option number one, is a brand new app. This is the Adobe Premiere mobile app. Right now, this is iPhone only, but hopefully there's an Android version soon. So I'm in the app and I've got my file dropped into the timeline here. Now we do have a full walkthrough tutorial for this and the next app that I'll link in the description box below. But I'm just gonna hit play on this so you can see how bad the audio really is. And this is kind of your worst case scenario. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise reduction is. Okay, lots of background noise. You can hear the surf, the wind. It's pretty hard to hear what I'm saying. So we're gonna go through and process this. So I've got the clip selected on the bottom here. We scroll across until we see enhance speech and then we can enable it for this clip. So you can see we can adjust here speech enhancement and there's also, we can adjust the amount of background noise here as well. So I'm going to leave this here at the default, 90% for the top, 10% for the bottom. And let's go ahead and play this. Let's come back to the start. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good. Pretty awesome. So if we come back in here, we can start to see like the background noise. Maybe we want a little bit more background noise to make it more realistic. Maybe like 35 or 40%. And let's try that. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. Pretty amazing results. And I've tried this with really long clips as well and it's done a really good job. And again, this is worst case scenario. If you're just looking to remove a little bit of background noise or maybe some music that was playing in the background, you can easily take that out and get even better results. And obviously there's so much more you can do in the app, but it's awesome that this is an AI tool that's built in completely for free. Now, just before we jump to app number two, if you wanna keep up to date with the latest AI tools and apps and things that I'm geeking out on, we've pulled together a resource, like a toolkit of those, which we keep updated and there's a link on screen and the description to access that. App option number two is the Instagram edits app. This is another one again that's totally free. This one does work on Android and iPhone right now. The only thing to be aware of with this is that right now it's portrait exports only. So you can see we've brought in a widescreen video here and it's in a portrait project. I mean, we could just scale this up. I could just pinch to scale this. Or if we're really just interested in fixing the audio piece, then we can make our adjustments, save this out, and we could just use the audio piece in another tool or app now that it's been processed and cleaned up. So again, I'll just hit play on this so we can hear how bad the audio is before we go through and fix it. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here. Uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise. Okay, so again, process very similar. We'll tap on the clip. We will come across down the bottom here until we find voice enhance. We've now got very similar options. So there is a voice enhance piece and there is a noise reduction piece and it actually works the complete opposite. So still sliders, but they're almost back the other way. So we choose how much we want to reduce the noise. So the background. So maybe we want to reduce this to like... I don't know, 65% or 70%. And then we can choose how much we want to enhance my voice. So we'll boost this here. Let's also go around that same sort of mark, 70. So then we'll hit the tick to apply that. And this does actually happen quicker. This one's pretty much instant. Whereas on the Adobe app, there was a small processing time, which was more noticeable on much longer clips. But let's hit play now. Guess the test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise reduction is. Okay, so it's definitely enhanced my voice. You can hear me a lot easier. And we did choose to keep a lot of that background noise as well. So we're hearing that. And we can obviously come back in here and dial that in further, depending on your specific clip. I'd say the Adobe one seems to be next level, specifically for this clip here, where again, it's worst case, lots of sound, background noise, wind and everything really affecting the audio recording. But this is still definitely usable. And where we've seen this work well is on just regular clips, even like me speaking here, where we're able to use the voice enhancement piece to make it sound more professional, like we were using more professional microphones. So I'd probably come back here and I would dial this in again. Let's just try around here to see what this sounds like. 
case it's a test, there is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. Yeah, so it sounds less robotic. We'd almost dialed it up too much at that point. And again, contrasting this just for a full demonstration, if we go back to what the original was. Just as a test, there is lots of background noise here. Much harder to hear me, a lot more background noise. So yeah, pretty cool. There is now two amazing options to help you clean up your audio, remove the background noise, remove wind noise, echo, and really enhance your spoken piece of your voice as well into free apps, which given that these are AI processing is pretty rare these days to have access for free. So if you do want to geek out further, don't forget to grab our free AI toolkit. Again, all the stuff that I'm geeking out on that I'm keeping up to date. And if you want to find out about my top AI tools for video editing, check out the video linked on screen and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.